Greetings, beloved. Welcome to Narrowgate Channel. Another beautiful day our Father God has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. I welcome those who just joined Narrowgate Channel. Let us learn together. It's Operation Give Jesus Your 100%. In 2023, beloved, the door of the ark is closing. The honors lies on individuals. If you want to be part of the ark, you have to run for your life. Our Father is wrapping up. He said, Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Praise the name of the Lord. We serve a powerful God, beloved, the great I am, the one and only risen king. In him are hid all the treasures of knowledge and wisdom. Hallelujah. Beloved, we continue. This message is to announce that we are going to have a 21 days fast. From the 1st of June to the 21st of June, 2023. This is our first 21 days in 2023. Hallelujah. Our Father is so generous with this fast, beloved. He is allowing us to do a partial fast, especially for those who do physical work, beloved, so you can structure this fast the way that you want. If you want to do six to six, if you, whichever way that you want to do, you want to do liquid fast, you know, whichever way our Father is allowing us to structure it the way that we want. If you want to go water only, to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Beloved, we are living in crucial times. This fast is going to be an individual fast. We are going to cry to our Father for strength. We are heading to difficult times. Our Father keeps on showing that we are heading to difficult times and many will give up in the process. So we are going to cry to our Father for ourselves. For 21 days, he will grant us the strength from the 1st of June to the 21st of June, 2023. So let us start preparing mentally physically and spiritual let us be prayerful so that our father will grant us the strength fast is vital for us in this journey beloved i remember not long ago our father was correcting me from something he told me that you will achieve this through fasting and prayer so let us prepare our minds, beloved. You can feast for now and eat because from the first we will be fasting depending on how you want to structure your own fast. I want to share the word of God from the book of Joel chapter 1. Beloved, we are heading to difficult times. And the world is not ready. The world is not prepared. They still think that we have lots of time ahead of us. I will read the word of God from the book of Joel, the entire chapter. Then I will pick few verses. Praise the name of the Lord. The word of God says, the word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Pethuel. Hear this, ye old men, and give ear, all ye inhabitants of the land. Hath this been in your days, or even in the days of your fathers? Tell ye your children of it, and let your children tell their children, and their children, and other generation. That which the palmer worm hath left, hath the locust eaten, and that which the locust hath left, had the canker worm eaten, and that which the canker worm had left, had the caterpillar eaten. Awake, ye drunkards, and weep, and howl, all ye drinkers of wine, because of the new wine, for it is cut off from your mouth. For a nation is come up upon my land, strong and without number, whose teeth are the teeth of a lion, and he hath the cheek of a great lion. 
He hath laid my vine waste and bagged my fig tree. He hath made it clean bare and cast it away. The branches thereof are made white. Lament like a virgin girded with sackcloth for the husband of her youth. The meat offering and the drink offering is cut off from the house of the Lord, the priest, the Lord's minister's mom. The field is wasted, the land mourned. For the corn is wasted, the new wine is dried up, the oil languishes. Be ye ashamed, O ye husband men. Howl, O ye vine dressers, for the wheat and for the barley, because the harvest of the field is perished. The vine is dried up, and the fig tree languishes. The pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree, even all the trees of the field are withered because joy is withered away from the sons of men. Gid yourselves and lament, ye priests. Howl, ye ministers of the altar. Come lie all night in sackcloth, ye ministers of my God. For the meat offering and the drink offering is withholden from the house of your God. Sanctify ye a fast. Call a solemn assembly, gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God, and cry unto the Lord. Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and as destruction from the Almighty shall it come. Is not the meat cut off before our eyes? Yea, joy and gladness from the house of our God. The seed is rotten under their clouds. The garments are laid desolate. The bands are broken down, for the corn is withered. How do the beasts groan? The heads of cattle are perplexed because they have no pasture. Yea, the flocks of the sheep are made desolate. O Lord, to thee will I cry. For the fire had devoured the pastures of the wilderness, and the flame had burned all the trees of the field. The beasts of the field cry also unto thee, for the rivers of the waters are dried up, and the fire had devoured the pastures of the wilderness. That is the word of God, beloved. We can hear clearly that we are heading to difficult times. That is why in verse 13, the word of God says, Gid yourself and lament, ye priest. Howl, ye ministers of the altar. Come lie all night in sackcloth, ye ministers of my God. For the meat offering and the drink offering is withholden from the house of your God. Sanctify ye a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the elders. And all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God. Cry unto the Lord. Let us cry unto the Lord. Again, verse 4, it says, That which the palmer worm hath left, hath the locust eaten. And that which the locust hath left, hath the canker worm eaten. And that which the canker worm hath left, hath the caterpillar eaten eaten. Verse 5 it says, Awake ye drunkards, and weep and howl all ye drinkers of wine. This is the time, beloved. Everything is drying up. The rivers are drying up. Hunger is coming. Wars. It is all in this chapter 1. Listen to verse 6. It says, For a nation is come up upon my land, strong and without number, whose teeth are the teeth of a lion, and he hath the cheek teeth of a great lion. We are heading to difficulties. War, famine, tribulation. Remember, in the book of Zephaniah, God said he will bring distress upon men that they haven't encountered before. So we can read here, we can see that God is calling for a fast. 
Because the days ahead are difficult. Verse 20, it says, The beasts of the field cry also unto thee, for the rivers of waters are dried up, and the fire hath devoured the pastures of the wilderness. So even the animals will experience this drought, this hunger, this famine. It's going to be a distress upon humanity, beloved. Let us guide ourselves and lament and sanctify a fast. Let us cry unto the Lord. Verse 19, it says, O Lord, to thee will I cry. To him let us go and cry. Because time is coming where the fire will devour the pastures of the wilderness. And the flame will burn all the trees of the field. It is a prophecy. Beloved, let us prepare ourselves for this coming 21 days fast. And cry unto the Lord. Verse 8, it says, we must lament like a virgin girded with sackcloth for the husband of her youth. This is the seriousness that is required from us. Our father is faithful. He is the one who is calling this fast. Let us prepare ourselves. He will grant us the strength. Praise the name of the Lord. This year, our Father is really being generous with the fast. We haven't been fasting a lot like the previous uh, few years. This is our first 21 days and he's allowing us to do a partial fast. Because he knows that time of hunger is coming. So that's it for this message. I love you all. Stay blessed as we continue to learn. Bye-bye.